Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our JavaScript series. In the last couple of sessions, we have talked about that what do you mean by classes, what do you mean by inheritance, and we have seen various concepts of uh, how to use parent and child classes, what do you mean by objects, what do you mean by constructors, and everything, right? And in fact, we have seen the do we really need to overload a method something like this in uh, JavaScript method overloading is not actually supported in JavaScript that also we have seen. But do we possibility of overriding a method in JavaScript? Of course, you can do the method overriding as well. So today we are going to talk about what do you mean by method overriding? Method overriding means I don't want to use the parent class method. I want to override that method in my child class. So child class says that, okay, fine. I don't want to use your method. Although I can inherit your method anytime, but I don't want to inherit that method. I want to override that particular method. For example, let's say I'm going to create a class and the class name, but I'm going to create a car class. And in this car class, let's create one uh, constructor function also that every car will have a couple of properties. For example, that, okay, give me the car make and the model also. And then I'm going to write this dot a make, which is equal to make. And then the same thing, two variables, I'm going to initialize that with this dot model is equal to model as well. And let's see in this particular car class, I'm going to create a function also that uh, car start engine, something like this. Okay. And then in this start engine, I'm just simple writing a starting engine and it's starting engine for car. Let's see the simple console statement that I am writing it here. Now I'm going to create one uh, child class. So let's create one child class, simple writing class. And let's see the class name is uh, Audi class. And Audi is actually extending what? The extending the car class. Okay. Any car class, I mean, any class that you can create. And then it's having a, let's see, Audi extending car. Simple. And then I'll do one thing. I'm exactly doing the same method that I'm just writing it over here. That is start engine, but a starting engine for Audi car. Okay. Let's see for Audi. So see this carefully that I have created one parent class car and the child class Audi. And both are having the same method start engine and start engine. So what is method overriding when you have the parent class and the child class and in the parent class, you have the exact same method name. And same number of parameters that you are having in the child class also is called method overriding. Exactly same thing. You can check it here that this method that I have written is start engine, start engine with the same name, zero parameter here also zero parameter. So this is called method overriding here. Then I'll do one thing. I really want to test this particular feature. So what I'll do, I'm just going to create the object of this Audi class with the help of new keyword. So let's see, I'm writing new Audi here. And in the Audi, we don't have any other uh, constructor. So I'm just not passing anything here. And then I'm going to create the one constant variable that is, uh, let's see, Audi, which is equal to this one. So Audi is a reference variable of this particular object. And then I'll do one thing with the help of this Audi dot. And then I'm calling this a start engine method. So which method should be called? So see this carefully. For time being, I'll do one thing. This is a start engine method. I'm going to comment it out. So now, when I write Audi dot start engine, it will go and check. Do you have a start engine in Audi? No, we don't have that. So, but do you have the same method in the parent class? Yes, I have that. So can I inherit this method from the parent class? Yes, of course I can inherit that. Then in that case, child class is having the full right to access the properties from the parent class. So now if I'm running, running this particular code, let's write node method overriding method overriding dot JS and let's run it. So here you can see, yes, a start engine for car. So which method is getting called? This one is getting called because in the Audi, we don't have this start engine method. We have already commented out. Now I'm going to uncomment this. So let me just uncomment that. Now what exactly JavaScript will do? JavaScript says, okay, fine. You are already having your own method. Why are you calling the method from the car class? The preference will always be given to the overridden method. So here I can see that, okay, this is my overridden a method which is overridden from the parent class right so in this case audi dot start engine which method will be called now this time it will call audi class method so let's uh, see this is it really working or not so let's run it 
Now you can say start engine for Audi. So this is how exactly it is working. Now, can we have the individual method of Audi? Of course, that you can have it without any problems. For example, let's see, I'm writing, let's see one method, auto parking method. Audi says, okay, fine, that uh, I can override a method also, but I can just write another method also. I can have my own methods as well. Then in that case, let's see if I'm writing console.log and here I'm printing, this is Audi auto parking. Okay, something like this. Let's see, I have written over here. And then can I call auto parking? Of course, you can call Audi dot auto parking here without any problem. So let's run it again. You can say Audi auto parking is also getting called. But now I'll do one thing. I'm this time I'm going to create the object of parent class. My parent class is the car class and the reference that I'm creating. Let's see car reference over here. Now with the help of parent class, which method I can access from the parent class, I can access a start engine. So let's see. I'm writing a start engine method. I'm calling it. So which method will be called? So remember one thing, parent cannot take anything from the child. Only child can take or inherit or override from the parent class. So this time if I'm writing car dot start engine, let's see which method is getting called over here. So let's run it. And here you can see car says, okay, fine. You are using car class reference or you can say car reference object. So start engine method means you have to call your own method you cannot call your child class method so remember car dot start engine means the child class sorry parent class object will be called over here okay now with the help of car can i access auto parking auto parking is the separate individual method of audi right so see if i try to call this auto parking method over here let's see here you can see it's not giving me any syntax error, nothing, but I, when I run it at the runtime, let's see what exactly it says. So it says the error here. It says the car auto parking is not a function in the car class. So we cannot access it. It means we cannot, obviously, parent class cannot access any properties from the child class here. So this is also perfectly fine. So remember, yes, method overriding is possible from the parent to child only. And child can inherit any properties uh, from the Parent class, if they don't want to inherit, they can just override that particular property also. What is the use case here? Sometimes what happens, let's see, we have created one parent class and the functionality of this particular parent class that we have written, it is applicable for all the child classes. But let's see, there is one special feature that already provides that, okay, no, I don't like your uh, typical start engine. We have some auto start engine or some different functionality because it's a premium brand in the market and then... Uh, we really want to give, let's see, automatic start or something like this. So our business logic will be different as compared to yours. So we are going to override this method from your parent class here. So that's what the method overriding concept generally we use it in real time projects as well. So I hope this is clear. What about the variables? If you really want to create a variable also, can we override that particular variable? So let's see if I'm writing uh, one variable here. Let's see minimum uh, speed, which is equal to 100. Okay, let's see, this is what I have written. And the class, in the parent class, I have created minimum speed equal to 100. In the Audi, I'm not creating any variable. And then I'll do one thing, with the help of Audi, let's see, can I access console.log and Audi is the child class. Can I access the parent class property that is minimum speed? And minimum speed is what? Minimum speed is equal to 100. Okay, so let's run it. I'll do one thing, this car.auto parking, I'm going to comment it out, otherwise it will give you the error. And let's run it. So here you can see, yes, Audi can access the minimum speed. It means the variable also I can inherit, right? But can I have our variable in the Audi class? Let's see, Audi says, okay, no, our minimum speed is 200. That in that case, what will happen in that case? Which variable will be picked if I'm accessing with the help of Audi dot minimum speed? So this is not called variable overriding as such. There is no term like variable overriding, but here it's a simple concept that, okay, if you are having your own individual method, or you can say if the child is having its own individual a variable, not the method exactly. So in that case, the preference will always be given to the child class variable only. So now I'm writing Audi minimum speed. Audi says, okay, I'm already having the minimum speed as 200. Then in that case, the 200 will be printed on the console here like that. So I hope this is clear. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope it's clear. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.